him at no concern. <laughs> it is great to be saying hi to folks. It's been a really long while. I am 60 days out from CAR T therapy at Mount Sinai Hospital. Today is a day I'm officially allowed to drive again. I haven't been able to drive because of the brain uh, neurotoxicity that can be associated with CAR T. It may not be safe to be operating a vehicle or in the middle of driving, you might forget what driving is. Um, thankfully, I've had no neurotoxicity during my entire process. And now after 60 days, I am released and it is safe. Um, I have another month before I'll be able to eat fresh fruits and vegetables, which I've missed so much. I'm allowed to have cooked or heated um, because of the fear of infection and bacteria. I'm still quite immunocompromised. Also, the, the cancer itself will be what's called restaged. After three full months, I will get a bone marrow biopsy and PET scan to prove a full remission. Uh, at this time, there is no multiple myeloma detected in my body. Ugh. Uh, uh, I do feel multiple myeloma free. I haven't had to wear a back brace or sit propped up with many cushions, unless I'm sitting for, you know, a duration, like two hours or so. Um, but for the most part, I am, even right now, I'm kind of hunched over speaking into the uh, phone and it feels good. It feels, uh, I feel strong even my afflicted arm, which still has very limited range, especially raising above, uh, but the arm itself in the socket feels sure and stronger. Um, of course, as a mover, at, right, and as a teacher of fitness for all populations, but especially the senior population, I'm always interested in movement progression, strength progression, I imagine I'd be, you know, conquering this hill right out of my outside of my house daily. That was one of my wishes for my updates would be to be talking to you going up the hill. Uh, I was doing that and my heart has been able to do that. But I have suffered a very strange and mysterious affliction. Uh, in the past week, it's been really bad. I actually went to the ED last weekend because the pain was so bad. Um, but during my hospital stay, I had edema, which is swelling of the ankles. It's very common if you've been bedridden. I had edema, kind of a normal edema, but um, it was also accompanied with extreme pain on my shins when you would touch them. That seemed a little odd. And um, essentially, as I've gotten stronger and walking more, uh, the edema has gone away, so the main swelling, you know, that gives you those really fat cankles and chubby feet, and it's just uncomfortable, um, that has gone away. But what has remained is maybe the cause of it, which is a bizarre and very advanced form of like shin splints or Achilles tendonitis, I think is underlying that edema. Um, I'm going to get an MRI next weekend to really fully investigate what is it because it's very extreme. Um, I have extreme pain upon standing on my feet, standing still. Similar to anyone who's had plantar fasciitis, which is very common, your first few steps are extremely painful and then the more steps you take, it releases. It's a little similar to that, though it never seems to fully release or let go of the pain. Um... It's very hardened and kind of swollen around the inner shins. It, it, it's a mess. It, it, it's been really annoying because I feel um, I have felt like just so incredible to be free of pain from overcoming the cancer and then to still have these odd, very painful afflictions is frustrating. But it's a moment to just lean in and remember that for me to remember that my healing has always been about really listening to the messages my body is sending me uh 
the body sending the mind the messages and just saying, you know, we work together. There's We're not enemies to each other. And I have just listened and taken such impeccable care of my lower legs all week with the help of John, my partner, my love, and my caregiver. Um, we have a whole routine that essentially I don't have to get quite out of bed for a while because the most painful steps are very early upon waking. Uh, and then I slowly and gradually would make my way to standing and to walking straight ahead. Um, there's like a whole freaking system we developed for, and, and the swelling has gone down and it has gotten better. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give major props to my caregiver because without his like, really listening as well and collaborating with me, I would not have such successful outcomes. Um, I have been prescribed gabapentin, which is the nerve med medication, which I don't wanna take until after the MRI reveals exactly what is the cause of the pain. Um, that's it, that's my big update. For the most part, uh, I just wanna Thank so much my GoFundMe circle for truly allowing me as an example like this amazing time cushion where I don't feel, you know, petrified to have to start working again. Um, because as an example, like this week, my whole focus was on just being able to stand and restore myself to walk around properly and to have a whole week to experiment with that and to do that. Uh, felt amazing and it's only because of the financial support of that campaign so I thank you all so much um, I have new adorable readers that I love that I wanted to share with you 